Hi, I'm Karun Chandok, racing with Mahindra Racing in the Formula E series. And I'm here in the simulator to try the Putrajaya circuit for the first time. It gives us a chance to just get a little bit familiar with the circuit for me as a, as a driver, but also for the engineers to learn a little bit about the energy usage, the amount we need to recover and save, and also what's the best strategy to employ for the race. So uh, let's have a look at the circuit. get an image from the FIA which allows us to build a track map. I always believe any good driver will be able to learn a circuit in four or five laps, but this just allows us to speed up that process. In Beijing we had a lot of chicanes, in Putrajaya we don't, we've only got one at the start of the lap. Every corner is a little bit different, you've got some where you, you change direction quite quickly, so it's got quite a bit of character. It's quite a short lap, it's only uh, 2.5 kilometers. It's quite wide actually, there's lots of bits of the track which seem to be nearly three or four lane wide. So I think we should be able to have a reasonable amount of overtaking, like we had in Beijing. And then you've got the hairpin of course, which is probably the tightest hairpin I've ever driven in my life. I think it's gonna be a little bit interesting in the race. It's nice to have tracks which are all a little bit different. The main start finish state is uh, it's definitely the longest straight on the lap, but actually to overtake at the end of it could be quite difficult. So I think you'd consider fan boost even after the first chicane, because you can overtake into turn three. So that could be an opportunity as well. I think they've done a good job. It's got a nice flow to it. I'm, I'm actually having a lot of fun. There are a few factors on a simulator which you can't really replicate on an event like this. One is the surface, secondly the curbs. Don't forget, these are street circuits which haven't been used before. Temperature obviously is something you can't factor in which, which affects the grip levels on the asphalt. So there's a few things which we don't really um, know 100% till we get there. You have to take what you do in, in the virtual world with a little pinch of salt. I think Beijing was a positive start for us to qualify fourth and, and finish fifth in the race. It was a good start to the season. Um, you know, I think you have to be realistic and every weekend aim to get in the top five. Yeah, it's been a positive start to the season and we now have to build on this.